Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and in today's video we're just going to be talking about the balance patch that's coming up. So, once again, we don't know the exact date, they have stated it'll be the second week of August, so it will be after EVO. And a lot of people have been asking me, you know, who do you think is going to get buffed, who do you think is going to get nerfed, and all points in between, and that's exactly what this video is. Uh, so, once again, this will be pure speculation on my part on buffs and nerfs, I have no advanced uh, knowledge about what the patch is going to be. But with that said, uh, we're just going to pop into the character select lobby and we're just going to talk about you know who's getting buffs and who's getting the hammer now first up before we get to the speculation let's talk about the stuff you can't speculate about uh, because it has been stated and who knows if they'll pull a fast one on us but it has been stated that the following characters of Goku Black Super Saiyan Goku Super Saiyan Vegeta and Adult Gohan will have no changes they are fine as they are and they are considered the golden standard of the game's balance and what they're kind of reaching for all four of these characters are very strong characters, and if this is what they're going for, honestly, I think this is awesome. That's fantastic. I like it. Because uh, these are some of the better characters in the game. They are pretty universally applicable, especially someone like Vegeta and Goku and Goku Black. Well, and Gohan, really. Uh, they, they basically fit on any single team in the game. They can help everyone. They're good all just all around. So if that's what they're shooting for, it's fantastic. So if this is the golden standard... So let's talk about the hammer, right? Let's talk about the nerfs. Everyone loves the nerfs, right? Uh, so if this is the golden standard, you gotta look up, well, who are the characters better than these guys, right? And, you know, then we start drifting to some certain people, you know, uh, who could be better than these guys, right? Uh, well, then, then if that's who's better than these guys, these are the guys who are going to get some uh, nerfs, basically. Now, what are the nerfs going to be? Once again, I'm always a fan of not crippling a character. Uh, these, all of these characters are, well, I don't know about Bardock. Bardock players are just kind of whatever, but Cell and Kid Buu, anyways, they're fun to play. You know, they got a lot of options. It's They're popular, not only because they're good, although it helps, but they get to do more stuff than a lot of the characters, and that's part of the reason why they're good and why they're fun to play is because they have so many options they can do at any, any given time. So to take away the options is a horrible thing. So what should be toned down? Like for Cell, uh, once again, I, I've said this a million times. I've been saying this since like basically day one, right? Cell, just tune the damage down a bit. Let him keep everything he's got. He's got a cool toolbox that's fun to play with, but he does too much damage solo. So he does never, he never has to use an assist for a combo. He gets to use assist for pressure always. And that's part of the reason why he's so good, right? So just up the scaling on certain things. Up the scaling on perfect attack, right? Uh, a lot, you know, that get rid of the, uh, get rid of a lot of the touch of death combos. Uh, maybe add scaling to his aerial jumping ass, you know, the ground explosion. So the loot combo will do less damage overall. Uh, and it'll still probably be the most efficient way to get damage in a corner, but it won't do as much damage as it's currently. Once again, just tone the damage down a bit. Uh, keep the character fun, but don't make him, you know, such a dominant character needing no help at all. And since he doesn't need help, that's why he's so good, because he always has assist to burn on pressure and stuff. Now, Kid Buu also a bit of a weird situation because you can't necessarily take options away from them now the one thing i would say is the pinwheel stuff the pinwheel pressure uh it's he doesn't need it like he's already fantastic at basically every aspect of the game and that's just you know uh one thing too much because a lot of characters want to burn get you know like post knockdown pressure either they like you know 18 gets a lot of post knockdown pressure but she suffers in so many other aspects and she's nowhere close to the all-rounder that kid boo is right so why does Kid Buu get, you know, pinwheel post knockdown pressure, just like 18 does when she summons 17, uh, yet he gets to be awesome in every other aspect of the game and she gets to be eh, you know? Uh, so I'd say maybe, you know, the pinwheel recovery's got to be a little slower, uh, and maybe, maybe, maybe add scaling to a couple moves here, you know, maybe his down M scales like a light. So when you get that raw down M combo, it's not going to be, you know, be all end all and get a lot of extra damage, because, you know, someone else here, you know, who could I be talking about, right? Uh, his medium scale too, right? So, I don't know, just maybe introduce this concept. Maybe just the down medium itself. Stand medium, whatever. Uh, it's not as universally applicable because, you know, it sucks to get caught from full screen not blocking low. It's not really something you have to worry about with any other character, really, right? And you get triple stomp, DX grab, or insist, or whatever, and you just lost half your life. So, once again, these two characters here, uh, I love them as they are. Keep the toolbox, please. You know, don't reduce their options because that's what makes them fun to play, but just make them do less damage, because they, uh, Kid Buu does not do as much damage as Cell necessarily overall, but still, uh, just that kind of stuff, and maybe take away, like, stuff like down M, medium pinwheel, cross up in the corner, like, you, you don't need that, come on, 
Like, the, the only other characters can do that kind of stuff, like, like, I don't know, like a Yamcha or something, or a Majin Buu. They can only do that in Sparking Blast, right? Kid Buu has that on deck whenever. And that's a bit crazy. Now, on to Bardock. Honestly, it's difficult to kind of point to one thing about Bardock that stands out. Like, the things he has a lot of uh, are not necessarily his fault, because he just has a lot of synergy, right? He works so well with a lot of assists for, like, double supers and that kind of stuff. Uh, the big thing, I guess, if it's anything that's going to stick out is a, the level 3 mix-up. Because it's so easy, it's universal everywhere on the screen, uh, and it's just so oppressive. You know, there's other characters that have decent level 3 mix-ups, you know, like 18. Uh, Super Saiyan Goku has a better one than everyone thinks he does. Uh, but Bardock's is definitely number one with a bullet, right? Uh, so one thing I can think, and I don't really know the mechanics of it, uh, how would you change it? Because... Uh, the animation's the same either way, right? Uh, but if, say, if the aerial level 3, right? If he caught you with the aerial level 3, maybe it wouldn't provide the uh, same options, the grounded level 3 would, mix-up-wise. I think that'd be a fair change. Uh, since the animation kind of plays out the same either way, because he's always ground shooting upwards, air or ground, I'm not sure how that would work, honestly. Uh, but yeah, Bardock, obviously an incredibly strong character. Uh, stronger than most of the cast, but... No one thing sticks out other than, I guess, Rebellion Spear is super friggin' annoying. Uh, but, once again, I don't know how you really nerf that without crippling it. Now, I would say this. Rebellion Spear, and I've said this before, uh, make it a little more negative on blocks so the people with slow uh, jabs uh, have seven framers. Don't automatically lose the Bardock in the jab war or trade with Bardock in the, tra uh, the jab war on block anyways. Because uh, against people who have seven frame moves, Bardock is effectively neutral on block instead of uh, negative on block, which is kind of messed up. Now, for the rest of the balance patch, they have already openly stated this balance patch will be mostly buffs. So, that said, there's always the one guy in every given patch, in every given fighting game, who, you know, either shouldn't be changed or should get buffs, but instead get nerfed. Uh, so, last time around, that guy was Broly. Uh, Broly got nerfed. His Larry got nerfed. Uh, did it deserve to get nerfed? Eh, probably not, but it got nerfed nevertheless, so there you go, right? Uh, so who's gonna be the person who will get the rando nerf this time? And if I gotta put money on a rando nerf this time, I'm gonna put it squarely on Android 16. Uh, 16's totally fine where he is. Uh, he's upper mid tier, maybe. Uh, some people are saying he's top tier again. I cannot agree with that. And keep in mind, he's my most played character. Uh, I've been through this guy since the start. I cannot at all agree with people saying he's top tier, but whatever, so be it, right? People are going to argue about it. But, uh, random snipe in the dark nerf, I could see it happening. I don't want it to happen, but I could see it happening. Don't know what it'll be, because nothing deserves to get nerfed, but I could see it happening, unfortunately, right? Uh, but for everyone else, yeah, it's going to be buffs. Like, if anyone else got nerfed, I'd be freaking shocked, honestly. Uh, like, you know, oh, Ginyu nerf? Shocked. Nappa nerf? Shocked. Like, you know, Zamasu nerf? I'd be super shocked, right? Because I know he's getting a little more popular now, but he's certainly not a great character. He's solid, but not great. So for everyone else, you know, what would it be, right? Like, it's hard to tell. Like, Tien, Tien's a solid all-rounder. I'm not sure, you know. Uh, I, like, I think the command grab should be faster, uh, considering he does crap damage. His EX command grab, uh, EX volleyball fist uh, is a command grab instead of, uh, you know, the regular volleyball fist, right? Uh, it's too slow and too crap damage. I think it should be, should be better all around. Who knows? Yamcha, well, uh, yeah, Yamcha, fantastic, one of the best assists in the game, right? But as a character, <laughs> a little iffy. Uh, honestly, I'd like to see just, like, normals be a bit better. Like, you know, his uh, medium crouch medium maybe a little faster. Uh, maybe some hitbox improves, uh, impro improvements, there we go, losing my words here, on, like, say, the stand uh, medium and crouch medium. Um... It's hard to give him, like, straight-up buffs. Maybe, like, just a damage buff. Like, either make Wolf Fang, Fing, uh, Wolf Fang Fist scale less or do more base damage. Because his damage in combos is kind of crap with a capital C. Because it is not very good. Uh, Krillin, once again, this is a character whose world's better than everyone gives him credit for. Uh, there's so much dirty stuff with Krillin, but just people don't play him. Because uh, the assist honestly scares a lot of people off. And I can't blame you. The assist is, uh, you know, a super key part of the game. and uh, But yeah, Krillin's a dirtier character than everyone gives him credit for. Uh, there's a lot of channels out there, uh, like Black NYC. Uh, actually, I'll put a, a link in there in the channel description. You can see some of the stuff. Krillin's so much better than people give him credit for. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's still not amazing. Obviously, the normals are not fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, 
he's a character, honestly, that he's like one buff away from being way strong, super strong. Uh, just the tech is out there, but a lot of people don't know it, and that's why people are kind of ignorant of uh, his overall strength. Uh, so he's a character that can be buffed too much and be super top tier and super annoying, honestly. Uh, Frieza, everything has to be better. <laughs> uh, hitboxes, damage, everything. In the, um, uh, the big thing I'm going to harp on, the, the Corsicle Forward Projectile, the Corsicle uh, Forward S, the big uh, purple ball, is crap. It's just straight up bad, right? Uh, it needs to start up faster, have a better hitbox, everything. It's just, for a zoning character, in a game where zoning is not very good, this is also one of his weakest zoning options, despite being, you know, should be a set-piece projectile. Uh, it just needs to be a lot better than it is. 18, biggest thing, her command grabs are crap. They are near useless. Uh, they are the weakest part of her moveset by a mile. Like, her light command grab, even though it can special cancel into her super, it literally can't even connect. Even though the game will let you go from command grab to super, it won't connect. Like, it's it's trash. It's just bad, right? So, her uh, toolbox, she's certainly geared towards one thing, that's pressure and mix-ups, and she's all right at that, right? Uh, but some of the other tools, like the break you open, like the command grab, are just trash. It needs to be faster, it needs to have more range, it is just bad. Someone like Ginyu, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have too much time with Ginyu under my belt, right? Uh, nothing, like Ginyu, when he gets going, he's obviously, you know, full of momentum and very strong. Uh, but the big thing is just, you know, how do you buff the Ginyu Force calls without just making him OP? Because he could very easily get tweaked into OP status. Not even difficult, right? Uh, the one thing, uh, just a quality of life change I would love to see. Uh, just have like a little indicator above the super bar, just like, you know, Android 21 has like your little uh, things to show which absorption she has. Just to show you who's next on deck, right? Uh, the little time I did play Ginyu, uh, I always found it confusing after I had him tagged out for a while and I tag him back in. Like, who's next on the rotation? I'd forget. So just a little reminder who's next on rotation would be super cool. Uh, as for that, uh, uh, it's a difficult one. Once again, I'm, I'm just I'm speaking from a position of ignorance here. I know Ginyu ain't the best, but I don't know how you'd buff him without making him too strong. Because it's so easily possible to make him too strong by over buffing one aspect of uh, one of the Ginyu Force calls. So it's a tough call to make. Nappa, well, you got five hours because I can talk for five hours about this stuff. Uh, long story short, uh, his neutral is bad. He's a big body. He's a huge target. Uh, he's basically just a victim <laughs> once he's on screen, right? Uh, Cyberman stuff is cool. Cyberman pressure is all right. It's not as strong as it looks. Because uh, really, all they can really hope to do is just like kind of do stagger pressure. Because otherwise, you just block low the whole time and just wait for the overhead or throw us. That's, that's kind of the end of it. And his uh, command overhead is not amazing. And the throws, whatever, right? Uh, but just help as neutral, you know? Uh, once again, I just say this, uh, Corsica Forward uh, startup has to be way faster. I know it ruins a couple setups. That's fine. I'm ha I'll am i gladly sacrifice those setups to have a better uh, projectile mid-screen because it's already not a great projectile. It has nothing on a beam. Uh, so that has to be better so we can have at least some control neutral. And Stand Heavy should be armored like Broly, like 16. It should be armored because it's his best move in neutral, but it's still not great. Goku Blue, uh, all the, obviously another case of, I don't like the assist, uh, no, most people don't honestly. Uh, he's pretty alright honestly as a character in neutral, he doesn't need much, just once again the command grab, especially light command grab, is jacked. It is, why? Like what's the point of the light command grab, right? Uh, it is just not very good. Uh, so just like 18 man, just he needs better command, if you're going to give him command grabs, give me a reason to want to use him, right? So the command grabs need to be better. Uh, trunks, honestly, make 2L hit low, change the animation, don't care, just like tweak the animation, make it look low, hit Trunks 2L hits low, boom, amazing character. Uh, top tier, probably not, no, but have that hit low, and that's kind of all he needs. Trunks is one of the most like pre -em uh, eminently balanced characters in the game. He's got everything he needs, right? Just he struggles to open people up, like, you know, all the flips and left-right stuff in the world is not always going to work, right? Just give the boy uh, crouching light low, he's good to go. Beerus, oh god. <laughs> uh, where do we start? Once again, orbs, I don't think you should be able to not homing dash him. I think if uh, you toss out an orb and you're not able to homing dash it, a lot of the characters get screwed over pretty hard. Like, you know, like a Teen Gohan or something especially, right? Because, like, whatever the recourses the poor boy got. Um, so I do think you still should be able to homing dash through him. But, I don't know, uh, either if they're active, like he's actively hitting them, make them actual non-able uh, to homing dash through. Uh, you gotta make the hitboxes on Stanlight better. It's just 
trash. Like, it's one of the worst hitboxes in the game. For a guy who's nominally supposed to have good range, like stuff like Down M, it just his stand light's a travesty. Uh, his Down Heavy could stand to be a little bit better, too. Uh, but yeah, the normals on Beerus, like, I don't even think the specials on Beerus are bad. He's got an invincible reversal too, right? Like, not many characters have an invincible reversal. Uh, like, he's got some decent tools. It's just... It all goes together so poorly. Uh, so, like, the, fixing normals would be a good start, honestly. Uh, 16, I think he's good where he is, honestly. I just hope he doesn't get nerfed. Bujita just needs to do more damage. Needs better hitboxes. Um... Uh, the, every hit of the record shouldn't scale. I've said this. Um, like, I've been saying that since the start. Uh, he's got some stuff some people aren't aware of, but he's still not a good character overall. He's a difficult one, honestly, because like stuff like his projectile, like he can't make it too much faster. Cause it's actually really good and eats up a lot of the screen, right? Um, he's a character almost that would just need a rework, in my opinion, because he just seems to be a bunch of disparate parts that don't have a lot of synergy. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure where they. Wherever they go from that, I honestly I won't be able to anticipate it. Uh, wherever I think they should go, it definitely won't be the route they're going to take. That's all I can say. Uh, Broly, once again, you got five hours. But uh, long story short, hitboxes need to be fixed. Stand light, stand medium, stand heavy. All need better hitboxes. Uh, I want to, I, you know, I'm I guess I'm one of the preempt uh, preeminent Broly's, right? Like I never really set out to be, but I guess I am. And nothing more makes me want to tear my friggin' hair out than stand light whiffing. On standing people, uh, stand medium and stand heavy going through people. So many times I'll bait a homing dash with stand heavy and whoa, you know, uh, stand heavy just literally goes through their whole body after I bait their homing dash correctly with the armor and then I got punished. Yeah. So I can say a million things, but the normal's gotta be better. And uh, it's down heavy literally needs way more uh, horizontal range. It's for something hit so high up, you'd think you'd be able to hit a one pixel beside him, but it literally cannot. It's crazy. Vegito is a tough one. Like I know, like Trunks, oh, you could say, oh, just give him like you know, crouching uh, light, make it low. If he had a crouching light low, dude's top tier, guaranteed, straight up. Vegito's got some of the best options in the game. His pressure's super good. Uh, his damage is good. His meter gains off the charts. His everything is good. That's like the one thing he don't got is that crouching light. And honestly, I don't think he needs it. Uh, so, uh, honestly, he's a character that you know, I would assume he's going to get a buff, but I think he's just good where he is. Uh, he's got so much going for him that's good. He is a solid character. And after, you know, if, if the top tier does get nerfed a bit, he's only going to be better for it and a much more attractive option because he's got a lot going for him. Go Tanks, we already know this. We already know Go Tanks is going to get a nerf and a buff. So, uh, that's straight from the director's mouth, right? Uh, I got to assume. Like, uh, EX Spin is getting nerfed. That's easily his most annoying move. It's his best move. Uh, if you do it on the ground, it's basically plus on block, too. Like, it's redonkulous. Uh, so, yeah. And also, uh, stuff like, you know, his just stand jab, right? Or, sorry, jumping jab and combos. It builds a lot of extra bar. More than most characters, too. So, what the buff is going to be? I don't know. This boy's got everything he needs. He don't need no buff. So, we'll see. But they said, and of course, they can change your mind after that. Who knows, right? They said a buff and a nerf. So, the nerf, I can see. The buff, who knows? Uh, Piccolo, yo. <laughs> Piccolo ain't in a great place, but it's difficult to buff him without doing too much. Uh, once again, I'm not a Piccolo main by any stretch, so uh, there's a lot of little particulars I can't call out, you know, uh, specifically, say, like this, because uh, I haven't put the time to him like some other people have. Once again, I would say make uh, Stand S, uh, Crouch S less crap. That's his uh, Extendo Arm Grab. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't have much of uh, opinion to speak on it because I don't know too much about the character, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't want to kind of talk about my patoot here. Um, Team Gohan. Once again, he just needs a new move. He needs Masenko. Straight up. Come on. Just give him a new move. Like, his pressure's awesome, uh, but how does he get it? <laughs> That's the question, right? Uh, throwing bombs in neutral is not the answer because it's a slow startup and you can homing dash that stuff. So, normally speaking, his option is to fling himself at you and just give the boy Masenko, just give him something to do from full screen. That's not just basic key blast. Because he's like the most f character like, to get freely home homing dashed in on. Because what is he going to do to stop it? Because either he's got to fling himself at you or if he's in the air tossing them bombs, you're going to homing dash on him anyway. So, like, what's his options, right? Just give him something from range. Come on. NRS games can add whole new special moves between patches. So, 
I, I dare you to stand up to the challenge of NRS Dragon Ball Fighters. That's what I say. Give the boy Masenko. 21. Yo. She's good. Uh, she's kind of fallen off in tournament usage too recently. And obviously not because she's bad. She's a very solid character. Uh, she's a character I would struggle to say, you know, what do you do with her? Once again, the one change I want from her is just a quality of life change. If you do a command grab to maybe just hold the command grab and you don't absorb the move. So you still have the option of having the command grab later on. That's all I really want. Quality of life change. Uh, where they're going to go with her, I got no idea. I couldn't even begin to speculate where they're going to go with her. Uh, she's another character that could get a surprise nerf out of nowhere for all I know. Majin Buu once again said this in the start. If they don't change this, I'll be legit frustrated. The stand jab has to work, man. Like, it just has to work, right? Like, it, I, there's no reason for his stand jab not to connect on like anyone who's crouching and can't connect on the short character standing there's no reason for it there isn't there's no point no reason it's super frustrating why it's even a thing right uh even the only other character it's really a thing for is broly but even broly can hit a standing character uh who's short when he's somewhat close so like it'll miss far away but like imagine boo can't even do it point blank against like a go tanks or something what's the point of it right uh besides that like He's got some decent tools. Uh, by himself, he's on there, not, uh, not a good character at all. But the whole point of Majin Buu basically is the mix-up, right? So you got to kind of look at him not by himself, but rather as a part of a team. Because uh, usually it's going to be able to mix-up, and that's what makes him strong. So other than that, the jab, I don't know. Maybe he shouldn't be a strong character solo. Like, I think leaving him as, like, you know, he's kind of locked hand-in-hand -hand with Vegeta for most teams. Uh, but, you know, that's a good spot for him. That's kind of his niche, right? I'd say just give him that freaking stand jab, let him let it work, right? And besides that, he's all right. Hit God. Uh, yeah. Hit down him has to be way faster. It just has to be. Like it's slower than his overhead. So like, what's the point of ever crouch blocking against him? There's no point. And because uh, his uh, down him so slow, he gets screwed over by option select tag way worse than any other character in the game. Uh, yeah, it just has to be faster, man. Uh, left right stuff, I don't think you can afford to make that faster. Like, it's already somewhat difficult to block. And if you make it even a smidge faster, it's gonna be com it's already basically near unseeable blocking online. So, I'll make it just straight up unblockable online, then near unseeable offline, right? Uh, but that's the one thing. Like, he's got good hitboxes, right? Like, he sucks in the air, uh, but I think that's by design. Otherwise, you'd have to like completely rework the character. Uh, but yeah, that's the one thing. Just give him some option to open people up and making down M a lot faster is uh, part of the way to go with that. Uh, and Goku Black, they said it's not going to get changed, so it's fine. And Zamasu, I don't even know what you change. His damage is on the lower end a bit, I guess, but like he's such a good facilitator. Like, you know, he's got such great Oki options. Um, you know, oh, like you can make a wake up to the Hellzone Grenade and then, you know, uh, if you want to reflect, sure, then, you know, he has the option, if you've seen the previous video, where he can, like, break you open if you try and deflect. Uh, his charge, uh, key blast, or uh, charge core circle forward S, uh, with an assist, uh, covers, like, basically all wake-up options. Uh, he's, he's not in a bad place, so, I, I don't know what you would buff for him, so I'd be interested in seeing what it is, honestly. So, yeah, there you have it. That's just my thoughts on the winners and losers, and some potential changes that could happen therein. Uh, we will see what's going to happen. Once again, they said second week of August, so it will be after EVO. And EVO is next weekend as of the time of this recording, so please watch it because uh, it's going to be awesome. Even more than Dragon I know you're tuning in for Dragon Ball, right? But watch everything. EVO is the most fun fighting game tournament of the year. Uh, you know, if you don't watch Tekken, watch Tekken. You might be blown away how cool Tekken is. Watch Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V is always the main event. And even if you don't like Street Fighter V, it's always fun to watch, right? Let's go Daigo. That's all I got to say. Um, but yeah. Uh, that does conclude this video, so we will see. Uh, I'm probably dead wrong on everything, and everyone's going to get nerfed, and Beerus and Nappa are going to get nerfed, and Cell's going to get more buffs, but we'll see how it plays out, I guess. Uh, but for now, that does conclude this video, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video finds you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.